Hi guys, my name is Majid. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Image X7i in-ear headphones. Now, these are a higher-end pair of headphones that cost around $199. You can get a better deal if they do go on sale. Uh, the reason I picked them up is because I'm a big fan of the S4s and the S4i's. I uh, had a pair of those. And then recently, I picked up the S4i2s. I use those, review those, really like those. So I saw these at the stores, and I was like, I got to have it for a review. So I picked it up. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know what I like and what I didn't like, so let's get started with the review. Since we're reviewing headphones in this video, I thought I'd start off with the sound quality. Now, I know the X7Is have a really good sound quality, but let's get into what makes that sound quality happen. Um, they feature a full range KG 623X7 uh, driver, which is a full range driver, of course. Basically, it's a higher end driver than what we see in the S4s and the S4Is. It basically has 50 ohms of impedance, 110 decibels of sensitivity. Um, it's a balanced armature type driver. It's very lightweight. Uh, frequency response is 10 hertz to 19 kilohertz plus or minus 3 decibels uh, so it's a very very nice sounding driver on the spec side uh, now real world use is completely different when you translate impedance into normal everyday use what it means is basically your headphone has more controlled sound it can output what you're supposed to be outputting from your media player in the proper way that it was supposed to be outputted so uh, something like a reference headphone usually has higher ohms of impedance because it doesn't want to distort your audio. It wants to give you what you were naturally supposed to get or the source from where you're getting it, what it's actually supposed to sound like. The design is really, really nice on these headphones. Uh, the ceramic casing for the driver is quite light. It is a little bit heavier than the previous models, but it weighs 16 grams or 0.56 ounces, which is not heavy at all. And it's got really good build quality with the wire. It's a flat tangle resistant wire that goes all the way down. And um, because of this, the value of the X7Is can really be seen. The ear tips that we talk about are your standard clips issued ear tips that work on basically every headset that they offer and it's the same material that they use so if you're comfortable with one pair it's more than likely that you'll have a comfortable fit with the X7Is. Overall Klipsch has offered an amazing package. The build quality, the sound, the fit and the styling of these headphones they look absolutely amazing when you have them in your ear and they, you can't even feel them after a while when you're listening to your music it's sort of like they disappear and you're just hearing the sound from it's like magic so these are really really nice headphones the control talk feature I think in my opinion could use a little bit of work because it doesn't always work as well as you want it to but it does do its thing for volume up and down so that's totally fine and the case that it comes in is most likely the best case I've ever seen for a pair of headphones like this. So the X7Is are a really good pair of headphones if you find a really good deal on them like I did. I got them for $99 plus tax uh, in BC, Canada. It was something around $112. For the price point of $199, I don't know. I'd rather just go for the S4i2s or the S4s even. The S4i's just mean that they're made for the Apple devices and they have the control talk feature on them which gives it a $30 more price tag. Uh, that's basically a difference. The in-ear drivers are exactly the same. The design's exactly the same. The wire construction is exactly the same. So you're not really missing out on anything. And if you don't use that volume up, volume down, control talk feature, it's not really worth it to you. So you might as well just get the S4 twos, which are a very, very nice pair of headphones. Well, that's basically it, guys. I hope you liked my review on these headphones. If you do, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, add it to your favorites and subscribe to our channel because we have more videos coming out all the time. And uh, we do have a website that we put up. It's sort of like a blog. Uh, me and my brother have been working on it. And we don't really have too much stuff on it and it hasn't been custom designed. So it's just a basic theme with just stuff on it. So you can go check that out. It's called instafuse.com. You could even Google it. It's the first one that comes up. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, in the future, we're going to have more content on there. And uh, let us know what you guys want on the site, if there's any ideas of things that we could put on there, uh, categories or uh, topics that you want us to write about. Just leave a comment down below, uh, and we'll do that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, my name is Majid, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Image S4i 2s. So let's get started with the review.